students who come to the flight procedures lab. We want to bring technology that gives students a uh, chance to practice and give them a little bit more sense of uh, immersion and sense of presence, implementing the virtual reality headsets. We feel the future of teaching pilots is actually when you have labs like these and you use technology to help them to learn. So rather than having one simulator for one instructor, one student at a time, now we have one instructor but four students in the classroom and each student has their own desktop computer. It's much better. So we shouldn't spend 36 or 38 hours here of lecture rather than four in a real simulator. After you've done 48 hours in the simulator, you get in the jumbo and you're ready to fly it as the captain and you've never sat in it before. It's very good training. They allow you to practice critical action skills that you can't necessarily practice in an aeroplane, such as an engine failure on takeoff, an engine fire on takeoff, in the air, a hydraulic runaway or a pneumatic failure, pressurisation failure. You just can't practice that in an aeroplane. After they finish the course, uh, and all the courses and the degree, they are eligible to start the flight training. The good thing about introducing those courses using desktop simulators is that they actually help students a lot before actually they start the training. So even though they don't get to fly, put it in, in situations where they experience aviation, they experience piloting and flying, help them dramatically later down the track. They're quite tactile in, the, in their nature and the systems can be reconfigured for different aeroplane types. So it can take the trainees here at Griffith from the very basic training aeroplane in a Cessna through to a very sophisticated aeroplane. By getting this more exposure to the plane and the theories and the procedures and also put it in, in practice, they also prepare themselves before they have to start the flight training. When they come here, they grasp very quickly. Mixing technology, the desktop computers and the content of you know, being in the plane, flying the plane, I think uh, if you give the students opportunity, they will just, you know, they're gonna be breezy for them.